Lands once off limits to most people are being reclaimed along the edge of San Francisco Bay. Ponds long used to produce salt commercially are being restored to their natural state, and there was a major change today. KTVU consumer editor Tom Vicar has our story. The giant shovel took only a few minutes to breach a levee that's blocked North Creek for decades. This is the first of three such breach actions that will take place here, turning 835 former acres of salt crystallizers into tidelands, the first time that's happened here in generations. Opening up North Creek sets the stage to flood salty landlocked Eden Landing Pond this fall. And from then on, the ebb and flow of the tide will return this area to its natural state. We'll be bringing water in from the bay, and rather than having it reside in the pond, and evaporate and become saltier water to make salt, we'll begin to bring water in and then discharge it back out. So we circulate the waters and maintain more of a bay water salinity regime for endangered species and for shorebirds and waterfowl. Last month, another salt pond area in the South Bay community of El Viso was reopened to tidal flows. But these hundreds of acres are only a small part of the much larger San Francisco Bay Salt Ponds Restoration Project. We're in a long-term planning process to develop a restoration plan for that 15,100-acre area. But it's not a done deal. A lot of it's going to be hand on where we can get the funding to um, actually implement uh, the plan that is developed. Though much of the initial work will take place in the next 10 years, nature will take her own time to return the ecology to what it once was. 20 to 40, 50, 60 years. But the people of that time will see what the Bay Area's original inhabitants saw here. I think it's going to be vastly different. Kids and adults alike will see a much different ecology out here. What's been started here is a great reward to those who only once dreamt it. I've been waiting many years for this uh, breach to finally occur, and, and here we are, it's finally happening. And it's extremely exciting. For the quality of life of the people that live here in the Bay Area and, and all the people that come and visit it, I think it's going to make a big difference. And given that almost 90% of the Bay and Delta estuary has been altered or filled in in the last two centuries, environmentalists say this small step backward is truly a giant leap forward. I'm consumer editor Tom Baycar, KTVU, Channel 2 News.